Hi everyone and welcome to this, the third edition of 10 Tricks in 10 Days. Uh, it's going to be a Big Cubes edition, so I'm going to cover 4x4 to 7x7 and give a few tips and tricks on improving your solves. Um, now just bear in mind that I'm catering to a wide audience, you know, varying from beginner solvers to people who've been cubing for many years. So some tips may be relevant to you, some may not. Uh, so just, just keep that in mind because it's, it's pretty much impossible for you know, one tip to be really, really useful to absolutely everyone. Alright, so this first tip is for 4x4 edges uh, with Yao. It's somewhat of a beginner tip, but there might be some of you out there who, you know, maybe averaging, you know, less than 50 seconds who maybe don't even do this yet, but uh, I, I wouldn't think so. So, what the case we have here is we have two double swap of edges. So we have um, these two and these two, so they need to be swapped, and then we got these two pairs. So, um, sort of intuitively how someone might tackle this when they're first learning 4x4 or first learning Yao would be to do something like the following. So they would, uh, they would flip the edge here first, replace it with that edge, flip it back, and then maybe bring these two into the front and then flip it again. Now you'll notice that that took a fair few, that took, that took a lot of moves and it probably wasn't very efficient. So there is uh, actually a much faster way of doing something like this. So instead of doing two at a time, so in the first example I solved two and then two, what we're going to do is solve one edge and then solve the remaining three. So what we're going to do is slice to, uh, to pair up one edge. So I've set up the same, pretty much the same case here, so we've got the pairs and the pairs. So we slice to solve one edge, insert uh, any one of the top edges, slice back, so we've solved our first edge, and because we know we had these two here and these two here to begin with, when we slice back again, it'll form this new edge. Then all we need to do is replace um, this with the corresponding edge in the right orientation, and it will solve the remaining two. So there you go. Uh, see you tomorrow.